In this video I'm gonna show you guys how to make this lemma without a tablet, only with mouse and with no art skill. Ok guys, so before we start, if you want to help this channel, please subscribe, give a thumbs up, comment some feedback and consider also to visit my Udemy course because uh, in this way I can maintain this channel for free for everybody. So if you want to learn a little bit more, you can visit my Udemy course on the description or the comments. Alright, so let's open up GIMP. So I'm just open up GIMP right now and I'm just going to start a new project right here. So I'm just going to create a new one. I'm going to create with the with the landscape, but you can choose whatever you want to be honest. And we have the project like this. So I I do to pick uh, the form of the object. I usually I usually pick the real photo. Uh, but if you want, you can pick like a, a, a draw or something like this, so you can really draw into a paper and then later just do what I'm going to do next. But I really like to use photos to on my games. I kind of like the photorealism that it gives to the to the draw. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to import a new picture right here of the animal that I want to use. So I'm just going to import on here. Okay, so yeah, we have a llama. Uh, uh, so it doesn't really matter the size of the picture because we are just going to vector the face, uh, the head of the llama. So this size is not going to be okay, but the re resolution doesn't really matter. What I'm going to do is just to make this llama bigger. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to center a little bit with the scale tool. And what I am looking for is to copy the head of the llama. But of course, if you want to copy the full body, it's your choice. It's the same thing that we're going to do with the head. Okay, so I'm just going to readjust right here and scale. All right, so we have the head of the llama right here. I'm going to unsee the background. And what we're going to do, it's just go to out from in. So we're going to external, so head. And then after the head, we're going to do the ears and then the nose, the mouth, the eye, and then the shadows and some details that we want to do. Okay, so I'm going to do every single part of the llama with a different kind of layer. So it's easier for me to edit it later or even animate if I want. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to call it head. Okay, so this is going to be the head of the llama. And I'm going to pick my vector tool, path tool in this case, but what I'm going to do is just a bunch of vectors. And what I'm going to do is just to put vectors into my lemma and try to shape all the heads of this lemma. But in the beginning of the lemma, uh, just to represent a little bit of the details of the fur, what I'm going to do is just try to recreate something like this. Okay, so you can see that actually represents a little bit of the fur. Okay. And then maybe something like this. I think this beginning is okay. And then after this, what I'm going to do is just to click and put a bunch of vectors here. Doesn't, I'm not looking for changing the angle right now because I'm going to do that later. So this, this, no. Here and here, and here maybe, to the mouth right here, and here, and then we can do here, here, maybe here, here, and here. So we have the vector right now, and what I'm going to do is just to put some angles on the vector. So when I map, the head, what I'm going to do is just to try to follow the line with the picture. So I'm going to drag and drop, drag and drop not. I'm just going to drag the line and then you can see this two point right here. That's how we can play around to fit the right uh, kind of angle of the, so it actually gives a curve to the to this. So that's what I'm going to do here with my, our lemma. Another thing is cool to just try to 
fit them so they look natural with the curves. Okay, nope. All right, and this part just a little bit over here. The head just a little bit. Now the nose. The mouth. Okay. This guy over here. All right. This sphinx mansion. Cool like this. And then just to finish our lemma, maybe something like this, like this. That's okay. After I create the vector, what I'm going to do is just paint this. I'm going to fill it all with white or the color of the lemma. And then I'm going to stroke a path with a black tint. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to choose the color white. Okay. And I'm going to fill path right here. Fill. All right. After this, I'm just going to change to black again. And then I'm going to stroke path. So it's going to give like a stroke and then you can choose actually on this part the line width that you're going to use. I'm just use 5 pixel, but it's actually your choice. OK, I'm just do it once and then we have the head of that dilemma right here. That's cool. I'm just going to not select. I'm just dislike the vector like this so we can have a full view of how the lemma looks like this part I didn't like or something like this. But you can always uh, do any part that you want. So yeah, for the ears, I'm going to add a new layer. So I'm just going to put ears, ear actually front ear. I'm going to make them separated for animation and all the stuff. I think it's easier. So ear and here on the head, I'm just going to make the opacity there or, or you can, you can like just unsee the opacity. That's cool too. And what I'm going to do with the ear is the same thing that I did with the hat. Okay. The only difference is because it's going to be smaller and I'm going to paint with two colors, but it's the same process. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to go here, select here, after here. Okay. So I'm just going to make the hour earring here and then I'm just going to fit this guys together doesn't need to be exactly the same. It's kind of you choose what you want to do, but you have the freedom to do whatever you want. So here I'm going to fill the path. And then again, I'm going to stroke path. I'm not going to to stroke the path in all the views. Okay. Stroke path. Then you have like this thing right here. I don't know why, but maybe it just kind of give it the wrong uh, vector. But anyway, it's something like this. Okay. And then the earring, very simple earring, ear actually arena. So fill path, then black. Stroke path. Yeah, it's gonna give this kind of style because of the angle. All right. So the next thing that I'm going to do is just I'm I'm going to remove the opacity just to see the black part, and that's what I'm going to do just to select it. So I'm just gonna make the black part right now. So something like this and fill path. I'm not going to stroke because it's going to be black and black. So that's no use in that. You can see that it's not, it needs to kind of fit on what we have. So that's what I'm going trying to, to do some here. So something like this, and then open this and this need to be something like this until path. So I have the earring right like this. Okay. Uh, and then what we can do is our the uh, the here from behind, and that one. What I'm going to do uh, 
I'm going to select this front ear. I'm just going to make the ear from behind. It's going to be the same kind of ear. Not a very much difference on, on here. And then just like circle a little bit. That's this. White. Fill path with white. And then with black stroke path. Yes. And then I'm going to make the next part is like the interior. I'm just going to remove the opacity a little bit so I can see. I can see actually the black part, so I'm just going to make them equal like I did the, the other one. So it actually gives a good kind of shape because I already know that works. Okay. All right. So fill path. Okay. So if I put the opacity all, all of them in the 100%, I just need to order the layer a little bit better. Because you can see that that doesn't represent. So <laughs> it doesn't look like lemma because the behind the ear needs to be behind the head. Something like this. And I can even move. If you want, you can move it around just to make a place a little bit better. So something like this. Or something like this. I think it's going to be better. Okay, so our head is like this. And the next part that I'm going to do is the eyes. Or actually, I'm going to do a painting in the head of the llama just to make like a dual color, something like this. So I'm just gonna make like a head paint or something like this. Uh, the fur, okay. So here, I'm going to make, I'm going to just save a little bit. So I'm gonna try to follow this pattern right here that our draw ha have, okay. I'm gonna leave the, remove the earring and the behind ear and the front ear okay so we have only this and i'm going to try to make this pattern right here very very lazily so i'm just gonna make this here 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 okay okay and just so it's not a bunch of uh straight lines I'm just gonna make like a kind of random shapes okay I think that's cool all right so I'm just gonna paint I'm not gonna have a stroke and maybe something more kind of a orange for or something like this but always white so something like this I'm gonna make I think it's going to be cool and almost I paint with the head layer okay be careful so fill with the head paint. So it's not. The, I'm not gonna paint over the head. So yeah, we have the paint right now. I think it's going. It's looking fine. Just the paint needs to be. Yeah, something like this. Okay, I think that's cool. The next part that I'm going to do, I'm just going to paint the eyes. Actually, the only eye that's going to appear, the, the one eye. And also just to try to do something similar, I'm gonna copy all what I have right here. So the lemma have a very cool eye, select black, and basically it's kind of a falling eye right now, like the, right here, and then a round eye after this. So something like this, I think it's going to be cool. I'm gonna fill the path. And just to, to be like a very, just it, I'm just going to make, uh, try to represent um, what we have with the eye right here. So we have a like kind of two parts of white. So that's what I'm going to try to do with our eye. So here I'm just going to make like a ball of white. Okay, I'm going to remove the, the, the ears something like you can see like right here and then right here so that's what i'm going to do with our eyes so kind of a kind of a triangle or something like this okay and then i'm gonna paint with white so fill path with white okay and then just to be complete something like this
Okay. And paint with white. Dogs are barking. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's looking like an enemy character. <laughs> Something like this. Okay. <laughs> I think that's cool. Alright. So it looks like this right now. Just let me see. Capacity. What do I have? The behind here. This looks like this. Okay. And right now I'm going to make the nose. Okay. The nose. And the nose is going to be just very simple nose. Something like, like this. I'm just gonna make like a try to follow the same pattern and black fill path okay you can see that doesn't it didn't fit so what it's cool to do when you're trying to do the nose or any in the mouth that is really needs to fit the painting it's cool to have kind of follow more the opacity of your head than the opacity of the image because it actually needs to be in the same place. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pick this corner and try to re replicate what we already have right there. But following this drawing right now. So that's what I'm going to do. And then here then I'm gonna paint. You can see that it's not completely honest with the image, but that's okay because it's going to fit our game. Another thing that I can do with the nose is like they have this kind of a kind of a part right here. You see like something like this. So this is what I'm going to try to follow. Here, fill path again. Okay, let me see with the full opacity of the head. Yeah, like there, there's some details in 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 white right there, and uh, I can I can change that. Just paint over, just to be like. Force 100%. Something like this. Just to make this come on, like opacity here, size. Okay, just to be. Alright, and then the next part the mouth. And again, just trying to follow more the head shape than the actual mouth, but I think that's actually the mouth, it's kind of okay, but just to make sure that it it's cool, I'm just gonna make like something like this. Here and then here. I think it's going to be cool. I shall let me take a look on the mouth again. Kind of, I don't know, I kind of like the mouth already with this black, but if you want, you could make the border with another color. I just think that is going to be too much. So I'm not going to do I'm not going to do it right now. But if good if you want. Okay. And then we have the, like the basic shape of the llama right here. This is our llama. I'm just I'm gonna forget about the picture right now because what I'm going to do next is a little bit more with the image that we already have. So what I'm going to do is just to add some details with shadow. Okay. 
So I'm just going to put some shadow in the face and the body just to make the llama a little bit more realistic, more kind of a more, I don't know, more pleasing to the eyes. So what I'm going to do is just to add some, add some shadows, details here. So shadows, okay. And how I do the shadows, I just going to try to do something uh, that it's lacking on the, the, the design uh, with a darker color of the currently background. So what it means, for example, I don't have the eyeball in the, this part. So what I can do is like to try to draw the eyeball here with shadows and I'm gonna show you how I do it. So the first thing that I like to do is just select uh, the color of that we're going to do the shadows right here and just make a little bit darker. So something like this, okay. And I'm just gonna make an eyeball right here. So I'm going to make like a circle right here. Can make something for here. And then with it, I just make something like this. And I'm gonna fill the path. So I can see like the kind of eyeball right here and that's what I'm going to do the with the next one also. So right here, trying to do the same height as the other. Okay. Fill the path. And then I kind of have the eyes, but with the shadows, you see. So what I like to do, I like to try to do something like this and add the shadows to add some details. Another thing that I can do, I'm just going to call the shadows of the eyes because if I want to make animations later, I can make it easier. And I'm going to make shadows of the neck, for example. So I don't have the details of the neck or the mouth right here. So what I'm going to do is add it with the shadows. So I'm going to select this and I'll make it a little bit darker. So from here, what I'm going to do is like, imagine that we have the mouth right here, right? And it have some fur, right? So what I'm going to do is just try to do some furring. Go all the way here to the mouth and then to the bottom right here. And just to make sure that we have the draw right, we need to follow these guys over here. That's the most actually important part to be kind of realistic. We're trying to fit this. Okay. And then this. And then the ultimate part right here. This also, oops, no, this. Okay, you can also add some kind of a, just so it's not like straight to the others. So we have kind of a, no, like to simulate some real, more realistic thing. Okay, so I'm just gonna fill the path. And what we have is our neck, something like this. I think it should, it could be like less dark than this, something like more lighter, something like this. Yeah, I think it's better. And also we can always do like details in the fur. So let's say for example, that well, like the sun, it's kind of a from upside down. So what we can do is like, imagine that we have some other fur, so we can do something like some furs like this with the shadow also. Something like this. And then we can fill path. We'll have something like this. 
uh, yeah, like basically you can do pretty much what you want with the details. I like to add with shadows because I really like it. The path and it gives a like a kind of a nice and and also of course if you're trying to do with different colors, try to respect the color that you have. So for example, we have this shadow right here, right? From the eyes. So if I want to make a shadow in the face of this, what uh, of the lemma, what I'm going to do is trying to make something like this with the color of the same color of the that we have before. So if I'm gonna fill the path, I'm gonna fill with the darker color of brown right here. So fill. I will have something like this. Okay, something like this. Okay, and you can always add more details to that. And you don't need to use like a real painting, uh, like a real photo. You can use a paint, you can use a cartoon or something like this. It's just the way I do. I'll go all the way with vectors and put in different layers. So, for example, if I don't want to have the nose, I can remove the nose, I can remove the ears. I can remove the eye, I can even make the, the lemma blink or something like this with animation. But the thing is that I do is something like this. And what I like to do sometimes with my game is like that uh, the game usually have some kind of a clothing to it. So what you can do with it is just make some kind of a clothing with the hat. So let's say for example that we have a clothing uh, just like a quick way example of that like a very very blue suit of this llama what we can do is kind of try to do some clothing with that so do something like this and we can go all the way around to here or something and try to add you can also use other pictures or something like this to follow or just go on the free hand. So you can put like some colors, fill the path with this, and stroke again. Fill the path and then stroke, okay? Not the contrary thing. So you can tr start trying to do some kind of clothing with that. So something like this. And then. I'm just going like very freestyle right here just to show you guys how I actually do stuff. But usually you take your time, you make it better. So just to, so don't make the the, the actually the, the this tutorial any longer, I'm just gonna end right here with this piece of clothing right here. Okay, something like this. You can start from there. And then you have kind of a clothing there with your llama. So yeah, that's our llama. I'm just gonna save this with llama and that's okay. Okay, so if you like this tutorial, if you think that helped you, please give a thumbs up for my video. Uh, subscribe for more tutorials. I'm not an artist to be honest with you guys. I just show you how I actually make my kind of art. Uh, it's very simple, you usually you take your time and do matter. And if you want to help my channel to continue free for everybody, please uh, consider to visit the Udemy course that I have, and if you like the course, uh, consider to buy it. Uh, I have uh, like a promotion right now, uh, it's um, I guess nine dollars, nine something dollars, so you can go with my link, and I really appreciate that. Okay, so yeah guys, see you on the next uh, video, and uh, that's it, thank you, bye bye.